In this video, we're going to do a simple example of the chain rules. The exercise is the following. We have ddx of, and then we have x squared plus 1, and the whole thing is cubed. So ddx basically means you, you take the derivative of whatever is here. So, so because we have a, a function composition in this example, what we're going to do is we're going to use the chain rule. So the chain rule says that you take the derivative of the outside, you leave the inside piece untouched, and then you multiply by the derivative of the inside. Okay, so it's the derivative of the outside, so using the power rule, we're going to bring down that 3. So this is equal to 3. You evaluate it at the inside, so you leave the inside function untouched. So x squared plus 1. And then you subtract 1 from the exponent, so it'll be 2 and then times the derivative of the inside function. So the inside function is x squared plus 1. The derivative of x squared is 2x. That's the power rule. Super easy, right? Bring down that 2. Subtract 1 from the exponent. And then the derivative of 1 is 0, so we're not going to bother to write it. Okay. So now the last thing to do is basically just multiply the 3 and the 2x. This will be equal to, well, 3 times 2x is 6x, so this is 6x times, and then we have this piece here, x squared plus 1, quantity squared. Let, let's just check that. So this was the original question. We brought down the 3, right, subtracted 1 from the exponent, leave it evaluated at the inside. This is your inside function, x squared plus 1 cubed, times the derivative of the inside. Well, the derivative of x squared is 2x, and then the derivative of 1 is 0, and so there we're good to go. And it's correct, but let me just check here in the book. This is from one of my books, Super Powered Calculus, and it's on the chain rule. Uh, and yeah, yeah, it looks okay. So that's it. I hope it's been helpful. Stay strong, my friends.